Welcome to Learning Lad and in this video we will see how we can write a C program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. Now before getting started let's see what exactly is a prime number and what exactly is a composite number. A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which is completely divisible only by 1 and itself. So let's take a look at the number 3. This number 3 is a natural number greater than 1 and if we look at the numbers which will divide it completely then they are 1, 2 will not divide it completely and the next number is 3. So since it is a natural number greater than 1 and it is completely divisible only by 1 and itself this number 3 is a prime number. Similarly if we look at the number 7 then uh, it is a natural number greater than 1 and the numbers which will divide this 7 completely are 1 and 7. So we can say that this 7 is a prime number. Now if we look at these prime numbers then the prime numbers have only two factors and similarly if we look at the number 6 then the 6 is a natural number greater than 1 and if you look at the numbers which will divide this number 6 completely then they are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So here for this number 6 we have more than 2 factors and uh, here since this number 6 has the numbers other than 1 and itself which will divide it completely this number 6 is not a prime number. So if a natural number greater than 1 is not a prime number then it is called as a composite number. Now there is one special case that we have to look at and that is the number 1. So it is a natural number and if we look at the numbers which will divide it completely then we get only 1. So this 1 is neither prime nor composite. Okay. Now let us see how we can write a program to check for the number whether it is prime or composite. Here I have uh, already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file to our program so that we can use the functions like printf, scanf etc. And then I have included stdbool.h. It will allow us to use the data type boolean by using the keyword bool. And then we have this main function which is the entry point of our program. So here the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. Uh, in this video we will ask the user to enter the number and then we will read the number from the user and then we will check whether it is prime or composite and then we will display the appropriate message. So the logic that we're going to be using in this program is in the beginning of our program we will assume that the number entered by the user is a prime number. We will do that by setting up a flag for example in this case I'm going to call it as is prime and we will set it as true. So we will assume that the number entered by the user is a prime number. Here in this program since we are asking the user to enter the number he can enter a negative number or he can enter 0, he can enter 1 or he can enter the numbers above 1. So we will check for all these conditions. If the user is going to enter a, a negative number or 0, we will say that you need to enter the number greater than 1. If the user is going to enter 1, then we will say that uh, 1 is neither prime nor composite. If the user is going to enter a number greater than 1 then we will check whether that number is prime or composite. So what we do is uh, we will store the number entered by the user uh, in a variable let's call it as number and what we will do is we will start dividing the number entered by the user from 2. So here in the beginning we are assuming that the number entered by the user is prime number. So here uh, what we have to do is we have to check whether the number entered by the user has any numbers other than 1 and itself which will divide it completely or we have to check whether the number entered by the user has the factors other than 1 and itself. For example if the user is going to enter the number 10 then we already know that the number 1 and the number 10 these two numbers will divide this number 10 completely. We already know that so we will not going to check for that. So we will check 
uh, any numbers other than this 1 and 10 whether they will divide this number 10 completely or not. So here we will start dividing the number entered by the user from 2. So when we do that we will check for the reminder value. When we divide the number entered by the user by 2 if we get the reminder as 0 then it means that the number entered by the user is completely divisible by 2. So if that is true then it means that this number entered by the user has a number other than 1 and itself which will divide it completely or this number entered by the user has a factor other than 1 and itself. So it means that this number entered by the user is not a prime number. So that's why what we do is we will change the flag that we have set in the beginning and we will make it as false. So once we know that the number entered by the user is not the prime number, we will uh, just print that out to the screen. Now here, if we get the reminder as a non-zero value, when we divide the number entered by the user by 2, it means that 2 will not divide the number entered by the user completely. So we will go to the next number, which is 3, and we will check whether 3 will divide the number entered by the user completely or not. So we will do that by again checking the reminder variables value. If we find that 3 will divide it completely, then we will set is prime equal to false. If we find out that the reminder is a non-zero value, 3 will not divide this number entered by the user completely, then we will go to the next number. Then again, we will do the same thing and we will continue to do this up to certain level and and what that level is, let's find out. So let's say we have the number 20, which is entered by the user, then the possible range of numbers which can divide this number 20 completely um, starting from 1 are 1 to 10. The numbers from 11 to 19 can't divide this number completely. We can easily say that. The number 20 will completely divide it. We already know that and we will not going to check in this program. And also we know that number 1 will completely divide it. So we will not check for this also. So the possible range of numbers which can divide this number 20 completely are from 2 to 10. So this uh, maximum range which is 10 here is actually 20 divided by 2 which is half of this number. So here also we will continue to check for this until we reach number up to number divided by 2. So uh, after reaching this number divided by 2 value and we find out that all these numbers are not dividing the number entered by the user completely then it means that the number entered by the user is a prime number. If you find that any of this number completely divides the number entered by the user then it means that number is a composite number. So we will write the program for that one here. So let us declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. First variable will be for storing the number entered by the user and I'm going to call it as number and then we need another variable for storing the number with which we are dividing the number to check for prime or composite. So I'm going to call it as divisor. Okay. And then we need another variable for storing the status of whether it is prime or composite. So we will take the boolean type of variable here and I'm going to call it as is prime and we will set it to true. Here we are using this is prime as a flag to tell us whether the number is prime or not. In the beginning, we are going to assume that whatever the number entered by the user is prime number. And in our program, we will check whether it is prime or not. If it is not prime, then we will change the value of this is prime variable in our program. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the number. So we will do that by using the printf statement and we will say I enter the number to check for prime or composite and then we will read the number entered by the user by using the scanner function we will use the format specifier as percentage d and we will store that in the number variable so now we have the number entered by the user which we can check for prime or composite so since the user is going to enter this number he can enter a number or value 
less than or equal to zero or he can enter one or he can enter a number greater than one. So first we will check whether the user has entered a number less than one, zero or negative number. So we will do that by writing the condition if number is less than one. In that case, we will display a message to the user using the printf statement and we will say number needs to be greater than one. Okay. Now, if the user has entered the number one, then we will check for that also. And the condition here will be number equal to one, whether the number entered by the user is equal to one. In that case, we will use a we will use the printf function and we will display the message saying that one is neither prime nor composite. Okay. So now we have checked for the values um, zero or negative numbers. We have checked whether the number entered by the user is one or not. And then in the else part here, we will come to this else part only if the number entered by the user is greater than one. Here we will check whether the number is prime or composite. What we do here is we will start dividing the number entered by the user from two. So we will use a for loop and here we will use the divisor variable and we will initialize it with a value of two. And then the condition will be, or you know how long we want to continue this for loop will be less than or equal to number divided by two. And after that, we will increment the value of the divisor variable. So here, this for loop will provide us the numbers from two to number divided by two. If the user is gonna enter 10, then this for loop will run from two to five, okay? Now here, with each number, we will check whether the number stored in this divisor variable, whether it will divide the number entered by the user completely or not. So we can check for that by writing number modulus operator, the value stored in the divisor variable, whether that is zero or not. So here what we're checking is when we divide the value stored in this number variable by the value stored in this divisor variable, what we get in the reminder value. This modulus operator will provide us the reminder value when you divide a number by another number. So if we get the reminder as zero, it means that the value stored in this divisor completely divides the number entered by the user. So this number cannot be a prime number. So in the beginning, we have assumed that the number entered by the user is the prime number. So now we come to know that this number is not a prime number. So we will change the value of the is prime uh, boolean variable or this flag and we will make it as false. No, this is not a prime number. So once we come to know that the number is not a prime number, there is no point of checking with whether the next number will divide this uh, number entered by the user completely or not. So we don't have to check for that. It's just a waste of time. So we will stop this for loop by using the break statement. When we divide the number entered by the user by the value stored in the divisor variable, if we don't get the, if we don't get the reminder value as zero, then it will go to the next number and it will check it. So in the end, when this for loop finishes, it will check for all those possible numbers which can divide this number entered by the user completely. So after this for loop, if this is prime variable contains true, it means that the number entered by the user is prime number. If it is containing false, then it means that the number entered by the user is a composite number. And we will display that message here outside this for loop. So we will check for the is prime variables value, whether is prime is containing true. If it is so, then we will say percentage d is a prime number and here uh, for this percentage d placeholder we will provide the value of the number variable okay if the is prime variable is containing false if it is not containing true then that means that the number entered by the user is not a prime number it is a composite 
number okay so we have written that program here let's run this enter the number to check for prime or composite i'm gonna enter two it says two is a prime number i'm gonna run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter one it says one is neither prime nor composite i'm gonna run it one more time and this time i'm gonna enter negative seven it says number needs to be greater than one and uh, let's run it one more time and this time i'm gonna enter eight and it will say eight is a composite number so our program is working properly so this is how you guys can write a c program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video